Ah, 2021, the year of idiots. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. And of course, Snow White's under fire. Every movie you loved ever is going to be under fire at some point or another because there's always something in there that one could complain about. But we live in a new society now in the year 2021. It's getting worse and worse where society is allowed to just complain and attempt to cancel and write in a blog that Disneyland uh, should uh, fix this new problem. Now, this got picked up by a lot of bigger outlets, but I went and found the source. Uh, It came from the San Francisco Gate. Uh, right here in the San Francisco Gate. Two, it took two authors to write this one, uh, Julie and Katie over at the San Francisco Gate. And while they uh, review the new Disneyland Snow White ride and say it does add magic, they talk about its new problem. So let's break down what this problem is, and let's go back and revisit the Snow White scene in question because I feel like Julie and Katie here are missing something, and they're just overreacting and trying to parent for everyone else's kids, which really bothers me. Look, everyone has a right to just not watch a movie, to especially not show their kids, or to show their kids and explain to them, hey, you know what, he should ask for permission. But it's very hard when, you know, the princess is dead. You know what I mean? I'm not sure how she's supposed to ask for permission. I think these authors would prefer this approach in the next version of the film. I I don't know. Thanks to Stormy for sending me that uh, funny meme. Uh, But let's break this down. All right, so what's their problem? All right, so it stems here. and They give the review, uh, the uh, the ride, rather. They give it a good review. uh, But then when they get to the finale, uh, here it is, with uh, True Love's Kiss, this is where they have problems. The new ride includes a more comprehensive storyline, but that's also the problem. It's not a very big story, Snow White. Uh, The grand finale of Snow White's Enchanted Wish is the moment when the prince finds Snow White asleep under the evil queen's spell and gives her True Love's Kiss. To release her from the enchantment. A kiss he gives her to uh, without her consent. While she's asleep. Which cannot possibly be true love. If only one person knows it's happening. Have we already agreed that consent in early Disney movies is a major issue? That teaching kids the kissing when it hasn't been established if both parties are willing to engage is not okay? It's not what's happening in this scene, but okay. It's hard to understand why the Disneyland of 2021 would choose to add a scene. of Such old-fashioned ideas of what a man is allowed to do to a woman. Especially given the company's current emphasis on removing problematic scenes. We must remove every problematic scene that these uh, that bother these two authors. Disney, why you, you better be moving out and racing that part of the ride immediately. The stuff like they've done at Jungle Cruise and Splash Mountain. Why not reimagine an ending in keeping with the spirit of the movie and Snow White's place in the Disney canon, but that avoids this problem? Look, uh, who, who am I speaking to again? Because I, I, I want to give props. And, I, and I, I'll say this to add hate, but uh, sorry, Julie and Katie, we need to have a talk. A lot of people have been trying to talk with you, and apparently you privatized your Twitter because you can't handle the talk. And you know what? I, look, I got a problem with that. You are two public authors. You wrote this on May 1st. I don't know what you thought you were going to get, like everyone just applauding you for your wokeism. Uh, but a lot of people didn't like what you were suggesting. And now, like, no one should be threatening or being mean to these people. Uh, but I see a lot of people like Faith here. Uh, hey, Katie, the notion of consent in Snow White seems to be going around a lot. But I, I'd argue and do in my book that Snow White really readily uh, would readily give her consent to be kissed, since, you know, not kissing her would condemn her to eternal sleep. Want to debate? Uh, a lot of people were just frustrated that these two were out there attempting to change or edit or delete the ride and its experience. Look. I'll agree, old Disney doesn't really hold up to today's lens. It's very sexist. There's a lot of sexist stuff in the old, old-fashioned days of Disney. I'm not going to debate that at all. But I want to go back and I want to watch the scene in question because these two authors can't take the criticism, apparently. Uh, but I also just wonder, did they even watch the movie? Or did they just ride the ride and go, oh, my God. Oh, oh whoa, whoa. Oh. Look, you, you can't tell the story of Snow White without having its ending with Prince Charming coming because before this scene, which I'm going to show you, Snow White sings a whole song about someday my prince will come. And she even says, he'll be charming. Ah. It's literally her dream for a charming dude to sweep her off her feet and fall in love with her. She literally doesn't care. As long as he's charming, she's like, ah, I'm in dance, yay. She's been singing about it the whole movie, guys. I'm sure she sung about it in the ride, too. Did you, were you sleeping during that part? Uh, furthermore, can we talk about Prince Charming? You want to call out that sleeping, you know, Snow White doesn't, uh, is, doesn't get permission. But we talk about this, how they just treat this man like a stack of meat. Look at this guy. They don't even give him his name. He's just the prince. Oh, he's charming. A charming prince. Who is he? The hell? We don't even get to know who he is? 
No, he's just Prince Charming because that's what Snow White wants. That's what Snow White wants. Don't you dare get it twisted. She's been singing about it happy forever. She wants this. They establish it in the movie. Now, granted, she can't wake up and go, it's okay. Granted, you can't do that scene. They've established throughout the movie that she wants the kiss from her true love prince. And in Disney movies, and I'm sorry, I don't know if you have two, if have kids or two authors, but, you know, kids sometimes, especially younger, just like simple stories. Ah, uh, true love. That they, they, kids think that's real. They don't know that, you know, most relationships go through countless relationships, and true love is kind of a hard thing to find. Uh, sorry to break someone's... Uh, <laughs> but true love is an ongoing thing you learn through many relationships more often than not. And uh, the fact is here, they've made it very clear that Snow White wants Prince Charming. They established that he is the Charming Prince. And at the very end of the show, uh, he literally shows up mourning along with all the dwarves to Snow White's funeral. She's in an eternal sleep where everyone is mourning. Flowers adorned around her coffin. She's dead. Now, not only is she dead, but the prince respectfully approaches with her friends around and clearly steps up and gives her a kiss. Now, I want you to watch this kiss because I would argue, is he actually kissing her on the lips? Watch it. In fact, I'm going to slow this down. Let's watch this in super, sorry, super slow-mo, okay? Watch it. Here he goes. He's going in for it. And then he moves over. Did you see that? Even in this 2D cell animation, he moved over. Watch that again. Yeah. Did you see it? Did you see it? I want to do it one more time. It's important. And then watch where he lands. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! Did you catch it? Yeah, you saw it that time. Because he's, he's got to move the nose over. He's moving over. And uh, look where he goes. Oh, right there. Look how much cheek is showing. Look how much cheek is showing. She's kissing his cheek. He's kissing her on the cheek. And then now I don't want to do slow-mo now because it seems like it's long. He gives her a kiss on the cheek. And then he gets up respectfully, not touching her. And uh, then he pays more respect. Look, he's a gentleman. That's what gentlemen did back in the day. Some women like that. They like a kiss in the cheek. Hell, in certain countries, they kiss you on the lips when you meet people. It's just culture. It's just different things. This is insane. What is she supposed to do? I mean, I'm calling you out, Katie and Julie. What are you talking about? What is she? What? what? The whole movie is her talking about someday my prince will come. I will be in love and he'll be charming. And then here, charming piece of meat shows up. Finally, is what she's been singing about and dreaming about. And he gives her a kiss. Wait, what's going on? And then, of course, the kiss is so good. The kiss is so good. Look what happens. Oh, my God. That was the most charming kiss of my life. Oh, I'm so tired. Uh, what? Uh? Oh, my God. You are so charming. Oh, look at you. Look at them. They're both happy. This wasn't something that was done out of malice. This isn't something neither of them didn't want. Look how happy they are. Even the dwarves are bouncing out. This is a happy ending. This is what both characters wanted. That's what it's teaching to the kids. Now, you could argue about the fact that she didn't need a man. Frozen did that. You could argue about the sexism in these movies. I'm not going to deny that. That's what most people will criticize these movies for. But this idea that Prince Charming couldn't save her life and give her the CPR kiss because he needed to ask for permission first? I mean, what are you? Come on. This is silly. This is silly. And I'm sorry, the fact that you now are like privatizing because you can't handle the criticism. Oh, then don't be journalists. I'm so sick of this world where these journalists are out there and you're journalists. You're not just regular people. You put your names on this and you attach your own Twitters to the author, the, the, your, you know, your author links. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you, you did it. So the reality is then we're allowed to criticize back because you're out there attempting to burn this movie and this ride down. 
where it's like, well, who are you to tell me that I can't go and do this with my kids? Who are you to think that I think this is bad for my children or anybody for that matter? Why are we as a society in this place where people are just like, this is a problem. We must fix this problem. And now I'm a jerk because I don't see it as a problem. Oh, Andy's trouble. Ugh, screw Andy and his channel. Oh, this is sickening the world we live in. This isn't about left, right, or politics. This is just about the, uh, these weird mindsets of new, this new world we live in where people are just dictating what you're allowed to do. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. This is not a problem. This is overreacting. Now, look, authors are allowed to write the response. I guess they're allowed to put their place out there. But I don't know. This is like a news. This is like article. Granted, it's a, a review. But I don't, wait, wait, do, you, do you guys get what I'm saying? Like, why? What, what is, her, what are they, what is their goal? Is their goal here to try and shut the ride down? To remove the true love's kiss moment at the end? To not have her be asleep? To just rewrite the classic Snow White story? Because in 2021, well, you can't show her getting a kiss from a man while she's asleep, even though she's been singing about it the whole time. What? What? You're saying, oh, well, show a different ending that keeps the themes. Well, I'd love to hear your pitch. The spirit of the movie? The whole spirit of the movie is sexist. She's like a teenager. Underage and eating a poison apple from a... I mean, this is not a good story. Let's be honest. The fact that you're like, oh, well, let's keep a story. No, if you don't like it, then cancel the whole movie. Or have some at least integrity here. What what spirit of the movie? A bunch of weird dorbs that keep her in their house? <coughs> Excuse me. I held in the cough. I'm still getting over my cough. I'm feeling better. I, I'm just... Look, I'm at a loss. This is so ridiculous to me, the state of things. Uh, and this is, come on. Yeah, you deserved a little flack for this article because it's stupid. It's a stupid take. And ignore the hate. If you want to double down and do this, then ignore it. Don't private. What are you talking about? These people are, if they play victims because people are, are annoyed, calling them out for this ridiculous take, uh, I don't know what to tell you. But people had responses. I had a response. I think this is so stupid. This is not what we should be wasting our time on. But that's what I do here on this channel is call out the hypocrisy and the ridiculous out there to keep everybody honest. Enough is enough. So let people do what they want to do. Let parents be able to parent their own kids. If you like these types of takes, help me out. Hit that subscribe. Hit that bell for all alerts and smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Who's your favorite dwarf? How about that? Uh, and your thoughts on this story as well. Thank you guys so much for watching here on Popcorn Planet. Stay tuned for more movie news, scoops, and pop culture outrage coverage like this.